Okay, my name's uh, Matthew Gold. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Neuroscience, Physiology and Pharmacology at UCL. So uh, my research team, I guess we describe ourselves as a, a structural and molecular neuroscience team. So we're uh, particularly interested in understanding how two ancient signaling molecules uh, called calcium and cyclic AMP uh, regulate changes in synaptic strength. Um, we're affiliated with the Institute of Structural and Molecular Biology, so we have access to uh, really excellent facilities for structural techniques, so for example, uh, protein crystallography and cryo-electron microscopy. And our aim really is to make uh, really basic and very fundamental discoveries concerning uh, how cyclic AMP and calcium uh, regulate changes in synaptic strength. So maybe a couple of recent examples, we uh, discovered uh, how a uh, signaling complex, that's an assembly of proteins including receptors for both calcium and cyclic AMP, uh, we, yeah, we figured out how that uh, decreases the strength of synapses. And even more recently we showed uh, how the major receptor for calcium, which is a kinase called CAM kinase 2, we showed how that kinase links elevations of calcium to uh, increases in the size of, uh, of synapses. I guess something else to mention is probably one of the most fun things about uh, working at UCL is taking on extended laboratory project students. So, so every year we'll take on maybe uh, two or three projects who take on extended uh, laboratory projects in, in my lab. Um, and we really make an effort to like, integrate them within my team. So I mean, at the moment I have uh, got a postdoc called Tim and uh, two PhD students called Ashton and Ryan. And, uh, it's kind of uh, yeah we um, help each other out with experiments and you know always having like brainstorming sessions and that kind of thing so uh, we'll make sure the uh, project students are integrated in the lab and they'll uh, they'll encourage them to contribute at group meetings and that kind of thing um, yeah and I think often we'll find that yeah we'll manage them to inspire manage to inspire them to carry on in research careers so yeah we've had several students who've gone on to do PhDs at UCL and you know other leading research institutions afterwards. Um, I teach across uh, quite a few different modules on different uh, degree programs. So, uh, for example, I tutor general pharmacology. That's to uh, mostly to second year students. So I teach medical students, and then also uh, students across different uh, like uh, degree programs within biosciences. I teach on the third year receptor mechanisms module. So that's really sort of within my own research interests. So I teach about cyclic AMP signaling on that module. Uh, I'm also a tutor from the uh, experimental pharmacology module, that's a, like a long second year pharmacology module uh, which is laboratory based, so that's a really cool one. Includes some you know, uh, like uh, research projects that span multiple weeks, which is kind of quite cool. Yeah, just new for this year, I'm, I'm uh, redeveloping a research skills module, that's part of the MRES Biosciences course. So kind of uh, developing some new content there, for example, what are we doing? We're, got a, a session on career planning, there's one on uh, research ethics, um, there's one on like how to develop uh, new or like uh, good uh, research ideas.